Move K68 is a wireless keyboard having a compact design. It is lightweight, making it easy to carry around. Good thing about these is that the red Gateron switches that comes with it is already pre-lubed, so you don't have to worry about any lubing. Also, when I opened these, I found that you can do none to minimal modding for the keyboard to be better. In my case, I just spread the loop found on the stabs. No need to tune since it does not rattle due to its low profile design. It has a slim profile and low profile PBT double shot keycaps that provide a comfortable typing experience. This is how it compares to my Logitech K380. It's a little thicker but given that it's a hot swappable keyboard with switches, this is already very thin. It is designed to work with multiple devices including computers, tablets, and smartphones. Along with that, it can also work with various operating systems including Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. The K68 has a long battery life because of its 3000 mAh battery, so you don't have to worry about charging every time when you are on the go. So the controls on these are very straightforward. You can find it on the paper manual. So for knowing your battery life, you just have to press function key, right alt to know the battery percentage so it's green meaning it's full you can press function and long press z x or z to be in pairing mode then you can press a uh, function key z x or c to change the source so you can connect these with different devices you can press the function key and the tab to change the color of the LED strips. You can press function key and this line so you can change the lighting modes of the keyboard. So I'm just going through all of the lighting mode here. To change both the colors of the LED strip and the LEDs, you can press function key, right shift. So these are the available colors. You can press function, right arrow key to make the lights faster, function left to make it slower. You can also increase the brightness of the light and decrease it using function key up or down arrow keys. So the software is also very straightforward. So I'm just scrolling through these options. So you can have system commands, multimedia, macros, mouse functions, key commands, set as F and key, disable or bring it back to default. So I'm just creating a macro here. I'll do macro one and it will start recording. So you can type in your password and then assign it to a key afterwards so that you don't have to type your password every time. I'll set my backspace as macro one. So let's test it. So there, it typed in my password for me. So that's a great option or help. 
so that you don't have to type every time. So I'm also gonna look at the different color or light sets that this keyboard can do. So if you have a party in your house or something, you can turn this keyboard on and transfer it to music mode so that it can vibe along with your party or with the music. <laughs> 